All right, I received a question, and I'm gonna read the question, and then this is my video response. This person is interested in learning with FMK. It says, I, re I recently seen you on YouTube, and I just love you, bro. I always loved Wushu and the teachings of the Chinese culture. Recently, I have been watching your videos and have been working out regularly and stretching. My question is that I'm 30 years of age now. I know I have to humble myself, but is it possible for a man with no knowledge to be profound in Kung Fu? I really want to learn. I'm not acrobatic, but I am flexible like Samo Hong, if you know who that is. I'm eager and dedicated, and I have principles. All right, so, you know, I think the motivation is a great thing. Everybody has their unique talents and skills. Um, my vision of what I, I believe to be the ultimate martial artist or the true martial artist, it's, it's my own vision. But the real Kung Fu is just basically people that work hard, people that are dedicated. Certain people are good at certain things, um, but everything can be improved. So no matter what fitness level you're at right now, um, if you work hard, you can improve upon that fitness level. And as far as acrobats is concerned, that, that's not necessary for the martial arts. Um, that's just more for like show, for flashiness, and that's more like just demonstrating what your body is capable of. But martial arts, to develop yourself to become a deadly weapon with or without weapons, you know, with or without weapons, it's something that um, almost anybody could perfect or any, anybody could improve upon no matter like where they're at at that moment. So basically, people that are small can learn to defend themselves despite that disadvantage of being small. People that are overweight, people that are, you know, you know, not in that great of shape can basically use the martial art training to motivate themselves to get in better fitness and they will also possess the ability to defend themselves, you know. Um, so no matter what level you're at, you can always improve. So people, the thing about people being small, like short, for example, they can't grow taller. But people that are out of shape and unfit, lack of cardio, lack of strength, that could be improved upon. So that's part of your goals as, as you train. And that will be improved upon as long as you have that dedication. Um, the spirit is extremely important. So having principles and, and, and also moral principles and also the appreciation of the culture behind the martial arts is very important. So that is, I feel, essential, you know, for anybody that wants to truly train in the martial arts as a whole. Um, and 30 years old, the nice thing about being older and getting into the martial arts is that you're already at a mature state in your life. Like you've experienced so much already in life. You know what I mean? You have a lot of life experiences to to basically enhance your ability to learn the martial arts very quickly. Whereas the young child doesn't have that. You have life experiences you know, to, that gives you an, an advantage. So people that think that they're too old to learn, that's, that's not the case. That's, that's a false train of thought. You know, if you learn when you're young, that's great. But the problem with people that learn, that learn when they're young is typically they may end up getting bored with it and then they give up later on. So they might start at the age of eight, but then they quit by the age that they're 21. And that's not good. But the, the nice thing about people that are older, if they start off older, they can stick with it for the rest of their lives. And then it can enhance their life dramatically. So my father, for example, has gotten into the martial arts more deeply since I've been open to school. And he's right now 64 years old. And he's doing great. So 30 years is, a, is actually pretty, is a good age to start. I basically start as soon as um, you find the right instructor that you connect with. That's when you should start. I'm not saying to start in, as soon as possible. 
I'm saying to start with the right instructor because if you start with the wrong instructor then you may get you may um, undervalue and underappreciate the martial arts because you're not being taught properly but if you're being taught properly um, you should be able to have an increased appreciation for the martial arts that will keep you motivated to train for the rest of your life All right. Um, so you said this person says that they live in Albany and um, I don't know exactly where that's at but obviously it's not Chicago and it's probably not close by Chicago at all so basically the way that we can start training is you know I got this online Skype training that, that's going on and right now I'm, I'm charging a decent rate it's not too expensive and you could pay either you could pay for the whole month and then you get unlimited training for the whole month and then there's a schedule that you follow I got morning classes I got evening classes I train seven days a week so you just log on to Skype and then we start training I accept payment via PayPal if you don't have any equipment that's fine you just follow along you know with what we do even if you don't have the equipment but as you start training and you get better and you get more interested then you're gonna probably want to get some equipment to enhance your training experience um, the Skype training has been going pretty well and you know you're gonna learn a lot of stuff and if you ever get an opportunity to come visit Chicago then you could come visit and then we could train you know face to face but until then the Skype training would be ideal um, you know for people that can't afford the training then I do put out videos every single day you can follow along with the videos but the people that can't afford you know the Skype training um, it's a very good deal and you, it's, it's a very great training experience so you could basically contact me and then we could speak further about how much it costs and everything and then we could just get started alright Thank you.